board and breakers. I've been waiting a long time for you. I hope you're worth the wait. Frank Miller's Sin City, A Dame to Kill came out last Friday, and I was a lucky enough dame to go review it. It stars. All right, are you kidding me? Do I really have to do this? I sounded like a knockoff Kathleen Turner. Like, for f sake, let's just change that. Ah, that's so much better. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller are back with the second Sin City movie. It's been almost 10 years since the first Sin City hit theaters, and if they had to do it all again, maybe they would take another 10 years to finish this one. Again, multiple stories intertwined to create a Tarantino-like feel without the Tarantino-like payoff. Many of the main characters do return, such as Marv, Hardigan, Senator Rourke, and of course, Nancy. There are also some new characters, like Johnny, played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Ray Liotta, played Joey, and then there was Ava, portrayed by Ava. Green, of course. Oh, and uh, just for you nudity buffs, there's a lot of it. The constant narration from every single character kind of wore thin on me. From Nancy's downward spiral to Marv's lack of memory, everything, and I do mean everything, is in narration. F even Bruce Willis ghost narrates. What is this, The Sixth Sense? There was a lot of senseless violence, sex, and cheesy one-liners in this film noir, but I had a hard time empathizing with any of the characters in Sin City. That's saying something if you like watching Jessica Alba thrusting about on stage and nearly nothing. But even her gyrating ass and Ava Green's comfort for being naked on screen could not stop me from looking at my watch, wondering when the movie would end. I'm not saying it was terrible, you know, I've seen worse films than <laughs> Michael Bay. <laughs> Everything you've done. I'm just, I'm just saying, nothing has changed in Sin City over the last 10 years. I give this film five lap dances out of 10. What do you mean I don't get a stripper to demonstrate five lap dances? Okay, boredom breakers. Tell me what you think. Did you enjoy going deep into the world of Frank Miller's Sin City? Be a doll and leave a comment below. I'm Haley, and I'm with you till the end of the line.